Hello everyone, welcome back. I have had so many requests regarding the envelope punch board and different projects to use. So today I'm going to be using a bunch of different ways for tabs, um, like maybe some project life card stuff, a little file folder, just to give you some idea on how you can play with them. I know that uh, using this is not like the easiest and it can take a little bit to figure out. So I'm going to give you a few small projects that's going to help you uh, use this tool for things other than the envelope punch board. So some of the projects is this is just a cute little um, file folder. And as you get used to using this tool, you'll be able to adjust the tabs to the size that you know you like. Um, and you can also play with different papers. That's my advice is just cut out some papers and just kind of play with the tabs and you'll get an idea of what you like. And then um, for this one, so I do have this tutorial. If you, this is a four by six, I'm sorry, not four by six, three by four for project lives and things like that. So I'm gonna link this tutorial if you have not done this one already, but it's a perfect pocket to fit that type of stuff in there. And then here, I have like a little um, card that can be used inside of a project life. You can corner around it. I kind of just left it. And I have my little tab here. And then this is just to show you, and sorry, this is a little messy, but um, this was just the middle tab and I just wanted to kind of put something on there, but this actually turned out very messy and it was drying um, as I was putting it away. So we're gonna go ahead and start with, let's start with this cutie. So we're going to grab a, let me see here. Okay, I gotta get organized here. Okay, so this is gonna be a three and a half by five and a half paper. And we're gonna score it at three inch mark on the five and a half inch score. So let me just grab my small scoreboard. Okay, and this is gonna be my three and a half by five and a half paper. And I'm putting it longwise so you can see. And I'm just gonna score it at the three inch mark. So now we're not, we're not gonna have to cut anything and that's why I wanted to do this. So when you fold it, you'll notice um, it's a little below and that's because this portion is where we're gonna do our tab. So go ahead and grab your envelope punch board, okay? And I'm gonna make this super, super easy for you. What we're going to do is this, um, there was a, a woman online, she had, um, this explained it super easy. So this is considered like the V. And we're not gonna be using the number part yet. What we're gonna do is we're going to take the, um, the very edge of your little paper and kind of line it up right in the middle of the V. So you can see it's kind of right in there and go ahead and punch down. So you see you have that little tab. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and flip it and turn it around. And we're gonna stick it at the, I'm gonna make it at the one and a half inch. So you see there's a one and a half, so let me just show you one and a half. Or, I mean, if you want it smaller, you can just move it in, but I'm gonna do mine at one and a half. And then you're gonna have this, okay? So let's just turn it back around and you're gonna have this wonky thing. We're literally just gonna cut that off. So if you want, you can use your Fisker cutter. I'm just gonna eyeball it right now because this is too easy to do and just slice it. So when you do it, you're gonna have this nice little final folder. So that was pretty simple, right? Now we're gonna go ahead and I just want you to get an idea of like how this works if you're not used to doing tabs. So, hold on, where did I put my thing? Okay, so I'm gonna put that aside. File folder's done, right? And then you can do it either side. So if you want to do it um, on the other side, just flip your paper. If you see what I'm saying, so you could do that. So this is the middle tab. Okay, next, and I'm gonna show you how to do all these tabs. So let's go ahead and do like this middle tab right here. So I'm just gonna grab a, okay, so if we're doing a project life card, typically project life cards are three by four. 
You want that extra half inch for that tab. So we're gonna be using a three by four and a half sheet of paper. Because if you do the tab on an actual three by four, I wanna show you the difference that so this is a three by four and this is gonna be the three and a half, I'm sorry, the three by four and a half. Um, we're gonna be cutting it a little bit. So I'm gonna show you both sizes so you can see. So we're literally just taking this at the two and a half inch mark and two and a half inch mark. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you. So we're gonna line this up at the two and a half inch mark. So you see two and two and a half and punch it. And now just flip it over and that little corner we just did, line that up at the two and a half inch mark again. And this is the easiest one. And now you just literally just chop these off. I just made that so crooked. I would rather use my Fisker, but I'm just kind of doing this one here. These are too easy. So there you go with your like middle tab right there. So that's really simple. And like I said, now let me show you a normal three. Uh, is this three by four? Just to make sure. Three by four. Yes, this would be it. So you could see it's going to kind of be like, it's still a little bit. I feel like a quarter inch shy, so you might want to trim it. But if you have it sticking out of something and you want that project life shape, there's that. So let me show you the same exact thing. Let's do it again. So we're going to go ahead and score it again, or not score it, punch it at the two and a half inch mark again, because I want you to see the height. And I'm just going to flip it around and line it up and do it again. So I'm gonna cut those edges off. So you can see the difference. So it'll be a lot shorter once you kind of take that off, just so you know. Okay, and then the last one is pretty easy now that we have an idea of how we're using this punch board this little cute like book project thing. So this is going to be four and a half by six, okay? Four and a half by six inches. And we're gonna score it at the three inch mark or you can just fold it in half. So I'm just gonna go ahead and long ways. You can just literally fold this in half. I just want it to be a nice crease. That's why I'm doing it on here. And I'm gonna fold it. I'm sorry I haven't uploaded you guys. I have not been like feeling my creative flow going on. I just like have to take a little break. So I wanted to try and put something up and I know this was kind of requested. So this is gonna be the one and I figure you guys can play with this quite a few ways um, while I have this uploaded. Okay, so now for this one, what we're gonna do is, it depends what side you want your tab on, okay? So, um, if, you, if you want your tab like on this page, you'll start at this line right here. So you see that line like that right there? I'm literally putting it on the V mark in the middle and I'm gonna punch down. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and flip it. And I'm going to do it at the one inch mark. So you see how I flipped it and the one's right there. I'm gonna go ahead and flip that. So now I'm gonna have this tab, I'm sorry. So I'm gonna have this tab over here. So we have to trim this. So this is when it gets a little finicky and that's why I wanted to um, show this part last because you guys already have the concept down. So what I'm gonna do is take a ruler that is totally on the other side of my desk. Bear with me. Okay, because I wanna visually show you how you're gonna do this. So I'm gonna mark my paper up so I can show you. So, cause I'm gonna show you where you're gonna cut it in case this is confusing. And I feel like this part is confusing online because they don't quite show it. So let me back this up so you guys can see. I'm gonna make a little line to show exactly where you're cutting. 
Okay, so we're cutting that off. So we're gonna go ahead and snip this. and then just that part right there. And I feel like that really is helpful. Um, I'm a visual learner and I feel like a lot of us creative people are, so it helps to see that. So once you do that and then you close it, that's gonna give you your tab. So is it easier to create your own tab and stick it on? Sometimes, but I mean, this is also fun where you don't have to take out your die cutting machine and make everything. You can just like do here and, and sit right here and do it. I also want to show you, so like another project, like if you're using your We Are Memory Punch board and you want to use tabs too, this is just a fun idea. So what I had done was cut out the um, three by four envelope. Okay, so we're making an album. And I made this longer version. So this is a, a four by 12, I believe. And I just, you know, scored it in between three, six, nine, twelve. And you can just pop that in there. And this is just another way to use, um, you know, some of those ideas if you were making an envelope album. So um, this is pretty easy. If you guys want a tutorial for this, I could do this. But I feel like you guys will be able to figure it out just by showing these little steps here. So that is just some fun ideas. And again, it, like if you like, okay, so you see how we have this on the left. If you want it on the right, you'll literally just flip your paper the other way. So I already showed you how to do the center one. So you just like literally just play with it. And um, I think you guys will have fun. So that's it for today. Thanks, you guys.